Hello, everybody. This is Phil Schneider with another uh, Word Origins number seven or eight. I think it's seven. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about a word that entered our language in a strange way. Um, I'm not having any volume here, am I? If, um, if anybody can tell me how to improve the the, the lighting here, I don't know how to do all this lighting baloney. But anyway. Um, most of our words have long histories, thousands of years and years. We talk about Amazon, all these words that are brought into the English language. Well, not all words came that way. About 250 years ago, um, uh, 1791, Dublin, Ireland. Now, it's kind of a shock to y'all, but there was a pub in Dublin, Ireland. Yes, a pub where people would drink alcohol. Um, and at this pub, uh, there was a party going on, led by a man called Richard Daly. Richard Daly was the owner of a local theater, theater, um, uh, what was it called? Theater Royal in Dublin. Um, and he, he had some money, but he also had a habit of gambling. He loved to gamble. Now, during this party, people were talking, and they were talking. Some people had been to France. There was lots of wars going on all the time. And during the war, they said the French soldiers had names for different things, like a people of low quality. There was no counterpart in English. Um, so this led to the discussion of how hard it would be, or, or easy it would be, to introduce a new word into, in, into the English language. Big argument going on there. Now, he loved this. Ah, argument. That means there's two sides. Maybe we can get a bet going here. Yes. Uh, and he did. Daly said, no, it wouldn't be that difficult to get a new word into the language. And they said, wait a minute now. A new word, not just known by a few people, but known by the entire city. Or entire, everybody would know this word. At the same time, or pick it up within a relatively reasonable time. I hope my mic's working. Um... So Dilly said, all right, I'm going to make a bet. I'm going to bet 20 guineas, which was apparently a lot of money, um, that he could introduce a new word into the English language within 48 hours. It would be well known throughout the city of Dublin. Um, well, obviously there was alcohol involved in all this. So the people said, ah, <laughs> you can't do that. So they passed the hat, they collected the money, and they managed to match his um, 20 guineas. Now the bet was that whoever won, if he won, then his the people that were on the opposite side would have to throw a party in a year on the same date. And if he lost, he couldn't do it, then he would throw another party for 20 guineas on that day. Um, so the bet was that within a week, the public shall attach a, um, all classes in, in the city, everybody would attach a meaning to a word or a meaningless phrase that was introduced. And how was he going to do that? Hmm. That was made. Now, uh, this was a Saturday evening, and, and he went back to his theater. And uh, soon before, the, right before the ending of a performance, uh, he gathered all of his, the people that he employed, his ushers and the people working backstage and the little boys and whoever hang around, and he gave them all um, some cards. He had a bunch of cards made up, which he wrote a, a nonsense word on it. And he said, go out to all over London. He said, during the night, I want you to have a piece of chalk to write on garage doors, fence posts, um, house walls, anything you can find, write this particular word. It's only four letters, but write it big and write it clear, which they did. Um, and of course he hired other urchins that were going around there to do the same thing. So when uh, the Dubliners opened up their eyes in a beautiful Sunday morning, and they looked out and they saw across the street on the wall the word, this word. And they said, what does that mean? What, what, is, what is that? Q-U-I-Z? They didn't know what that is. Something? 
So obviously when they was talking to their neighbors, they'll say, what is that word? What is that word? What is that thing written all over London? The word quiz came into existence. Um, when people woke and they, and they saw all this, uh, garden walls everywhere, you can imagine the conversation, you know, what are those letters all over? What does that, that thing mean? And so that particular word quiz came to me with, I don't know, I wonder, strange, what is that? At first people um, third, thought it meant something weird or odd, but then later on it became um, something unknown, and from there it developed into a um, asking somebody for something that they may not know, a quiz. And that's how that happened. This is Phil Chenevere going back 250 years for a brand new word. No Latin, no Greek, no Arabic. This is a word made up. I'm going to give you all a quiz next time. Signing off. Oh, by the way, this is day 6,000 of the quarantine for the um, uh, uh, coronavirus. Quarantine on my mind.